no and that's it, it the two the two coming together uh, as we're going to see when we talk about these arrow and disney it really that relationship i think kind of holds together a lot of things about disneyland's original success uh, that we maybe don't hear so much about um in in the uh in in the histories that are told so the first one let's talk about is kind of just a, a little one that uh that Arrow had some work on. They didn't build the whole thing, but they really uh, took a lot of time to put this thing together. And that's the King Arthur Carousel. So it originally was a 1922 Denzel uh, uh, carousel uh, that they bought. Um, They had to get some other parts from care for the carousel because this one was a menagerie of different animals. And uh, Walt Disney wanted it to be all horses for King Arthur. Um, so they moved this this carousel from Toronto, and they uh, had to figure out how to put it together and uh, make it all horses. Um, and I, I really want to talk about the iconicness of the carousel in Disneyland in Disney World. I, I know I'll I'll tell you I have not been to Disneyland. Um, I've only been to Disney World, but a lot of these rides have. You know, they're they're copies in in Disney World. So that's where a lot of my experience for these are going to come from. Um, And then one day I'll go to Disneyland and I'll tell you about how I I felt about some of these. Um, Yeah, we'll we'll forgive you this time, Eric, but you got to get the trip out there. You definitely have to book it. (laughs) Yes, we got we got it planned coming up uh, in a couple of years. I think we're going to try to do it. So. Excellent. We plan but, far out. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but yeah, that, that to me, this ride is iconic because you cross over the right both parks. You cross through the castle, and the castle occupied. Right? It's that. It's the weenie, as you, you'd mentioned. You know, it as you're going down Main Street, you're right there. But when you cross through, you're in Fantasyland, and you don't feel like you're in the castle with the castle. It's not the main point of focus anymore. But the carousel is in both parks. It's the first thing you see, the first thing you walk into. There are rides everywhere, but it it really does draw your attention. So it had to work. It had to be beautiful. It had to be what Disney was intending it to be. And Arrow, I didn't realize how much rebuilding work they did on this thing. Again, when you get a Disneyland biography and you, you read about Disneyland, it just sounds, oh, yeah, we purchased it, we refurbed it, we dropped it in the park. The things they had to do to it, Right, it wasn't even big enough. They put in an extra row. Right, they had to redo almost all of the horses. They were pulling pieces from carousels from all over the country to try to make it work and make it look like one unified piece. Uh, but you know, when you do the reading, it's like, oh yeah, we bought this carousel. It was great. You know, Wed fixed it up and they dropped it in. And you don't hear about these parts of the process that you know the painstaking parts right. that they they use carved horses from carousels all over the country to try to fit into this carousel. And another really weird piece of data that I, I ran into and I, I thought was cool is apparently it was 71 horses and one mule. I'm not really sure why there's one mule or, or where they found it, but <laughs> in the original one, there was just one mule sitting I, around. I love that. And I, I wish there was still a mule on it today. I know it probably isn't still there today, but if they, they, should, I, they should put a mule on there so that, we, we should can, know. You know, we've got the 100th kind of anniversary like, of the company coming yeah. up, right? So they, they should restore the mule. Yes. And, and, you know, Imagineering, if you're listening, we want the mule. So please, please bring it back. It should, it should be like a special ride bring element. the mule. Yeah, I'm sure you could put that on Genie Plus. Hashtag I'd pay, I'd pay 10 mule. bucks for that, right? No. 10 bucks for a ride on the mule. We could do that. Just to ride. The- <laughs> that's <What>? right. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Separate lightning Hashtag lane, bring Eric. Back that's the mule. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The, the one the regular lightning lane, mule lightning lane. Yes. Some people be yeah. like, what is this? <laughs> oh man. You yes. and I will be standing there. The we'll mule. figure it out. We It'll be it. good. We'll be the, we'll be the only ones. Although people will probably just get in line behind us. Cause people love to wait in lines for, uh, when they see a line, they're like, Oh, this must be something good. Oh, of course. Yeah. No, we've, we can get into but, that, but it, people will do that for fun. Some, I live in New York yes. city. So, you know, people will do that for fun. Sometimes like they'll yeah. be standing somewhere, they'll be lined up for what, whatever. And people just get in line behind them thinking it's a coffee shop or it's a, <laughs> it'd be like, it's what just you, a line. why are you standing there? It's just, a, we're just standing here. What are you doing? But anyway, back to the carousel, uh, you know, but it, it is, it's yes. that, it, it's that sense of motion on the carousel and that, you know, they added all sorts of things to it. So, you know, elements of sleeping beauty, cause sleeping beauty castle. And, but I think everyone right. who's visiting that park for the first time, I mean, at this point, you know, I, even in Disney world, I don't walk through the castle anymore, right? You're always going to wherever you're going, but I think almost every first time right. visitor makes that path through the castle 
you know, whether it's at Disneyland or Disney World, and they step into Fantasyland, and it it really is. It's the first thing a lot of people see as part of that area. And I was shocked it's how much Disney of Fantasyland Arrow even designed. Yeah, it's Disney Magic. So, and they designed a lot of that Disney Magic in '55. If you like this video, like and subscribe. If you really like this video, visit SynergyLovesCompany.com for the full audio podcast.